Yep, no trespassing. Today we have access to this private pond. Invited out by one of my subscribers today. I actually met him a few years ago. I don't quite recall. Chris, you look uh, a lot older and a lot yeah. taller. Good to see you again, man. Where do we meet? Fawn Hill, if I recall? Fawn Hill, like two years ago. Two years ago? Gotcha. Yep. All right, man, so you hit me up and you said your rod and reel was stolen from Font Hill. Yeah. What happened, dude? I just left it on the gazebo and went to go try a different spot and it was gone. That's crazy. So maybe like five minutes you left it, something yep. like that. That's yeah. crazy. All right, well, good news, bro. I've got some extra rods and reels that uh, from my old collection that I no longer need. So we're actually going to run a one rod, one reel challenge. So first thing first, you don't even have a rod and reel. And how long ago was it stolen? Uh, probably about two weeks ago. Okay, two weeks ago. Two weeks. So I'm going to hook you up today. So you're going to have the option of one of two rods. So why don't you take your pick here. You said you like seven foot medium heavy. Yep. I've got my old uh, Kistler Magnesium TS. Or you can have my Dobbins Champion XP. Both of them are seven foot medium heavies. Why don't you go ahead and take your pick right there. I'll go with this one. All right, you're going to go with the Dobbins, a great choice. Got the reels. You said you like left-hand retrieves. Why don't you open this up and select one of these left-hand retrieves and go ahead and dump it out. I want to take a look, see what we got here. I'll be honest, bro. I don't even remember the names of some of these. I mean, that's <laughs> never even been used. That's, yeah. a, that's a favorite one. That one, I don't recall what this one. These are all left-hand retrieves. Oh, Casking, gotcha. Casking, yeah. So go ahead, take a look, take a feel. No rush, let me know which one you decide to go with. I think I'll go with this one. All right, you're gonna go with the favorite Phantom. How's it feel? Feels great, really smooth. All right, very nice. And for line, you don't have any line either. So nope. you asked for 30 pound braid. I just, I only use 20 pound Guggen Squad braid. So that's all I got for you, buddy. Great. 20 pound Guggen Squad braid. So why don't you grab your combo and get it rigged up and then I'll explain the rules of today's challenge. In a box. Yeah. I'm gonna observe. I've actually, ne I've actually never seen this technique. It works sometimes. Oh, it's working. Look at that technique. Oh yeah, it's down there. So it's spinning. Yeah. yeah so it's spinning. Cause you don't want it twirling. This, uh -huh. That creates line twist. So you actually have a very solid spooling technique here, my guy. I right, should only take a couple minutes, and uh, I'm gonna explain the rules. This is gonna be a fun day. Chris, you've got your new combo rigged up. I feel bad for you, man. You got your Shimano Cronarch swiped. Yep. But hopefully this is a, a bit of a consolation. So as I mentioned, this is the 1R, 1R challenge series number five, where I go to your home waters, subscribers all around, and I fish 1v1 in a little competition. So let's go over the specs. One rod, one reel only. We've seen what Chris is using. Today I'm using my Guggen Green Series bait casting reel, my Black Series Reaction Light Rod, I'm running 20 pound Guggen Squad Braden line. Location, Chris's grandparents' private pond. Species, we're going for bass. Probably not much else in here is my guess, right dude? Uh, I don't know. There's bass, okay. I've heard catfish are in here. Okay. Time limit, it's currently 7.30. We'll be fishing until 11. And scoring, this is what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna do something a little interesting. Chris told me this pond is good for top water. So we're actually gonna do a top water only fishing challenge. So let me show you what I got here, bro. Both of us can only fish the baits in this box. So let me tell you how we can win. These are all top water baits. Uh -huh. You can win by catching five fish on five different baits. Any five that you choose. Got a variety of baits, popper, the explode toads, some frogs, spook style baits, revolvers, the buzz baits. Now you look probably looking at that guy. This guy's yeah. pretty big. Have you ever seen one this big? I have. You have? Really? Bass Pro Shop. Okay, Bass Pro. So, as I just mentioned, one way to win, catch five fish on five different baits. The second way to win is to catch two fish on two different baits and then one fish on this bait. So oh, that would be awesome. three fish. So you have two paths to win. Now, straight off the bat, which one are you thinking? What do you think you could do? You, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I go straight to the frog. Okay, gotcha. Straight so, to the frog. So I'm just wondering, after you catch two fish, are you going to catch three more normal baits, or are you going to go for the big one? I'm going three more normal. Okay, you, you're no a little way. scared of that one, huh? Yeah, there's no gotcha. way. Gotcha. There's no way. So I'm actually thinking something similar, but say you're down like four fish to two, mm -hmm. then you can bust out that one yeah. and try to, you know, come Short from behind. Dancing. Exactly. Yep. So that is the 1R, 1R challenge series for today. I kind of already gave you your prize, but you needed it because you had nothing to fish <laughs> with, bro. But we're going to get started. Should be a fun challenge. Good luck to uh, both of us. I'm gonna let you have first pick. You're fishing a rod and reel you've never touched before. 
So you go ahead and take first pick of uh, any of these top water baits right here. I'll do the buzz bait. Buzz bait, all right. Yep. You know, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the water. I also want to go something active, but I'm gonna go with something active and weedless. So I'm gonna go with the explode toad right here. So we are in a competition, so I'm not gonna waste any time because I do not like losing. I'm currently at two wins, one loss, and one tie in the series. You have clippers. Oh, I do, I do. Right on top of my top of my bag, you can grab them anytime. Oh, you're in the water before me, bro. I respect that. All right, dude, you're ready. How often have you been fishing? Uh, a lot recently. All right, respect. Oh, you're ready then. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we are gonna have a challenge on our hands, my friends. <laughs> I mean, you can switch any time, by the way. You don't have to stick with that until you catch a fish. You're welcome to switch any time. All right, there's a ton of moss here. I mean, I would definitely expect there to be a fish right in this corner. So we're gonna go ahead and work the explode toad. See if we can't get fish number one. Let's break down the condition a little bit for you guys while I make a cast parallel to the bank. Morning, got some nice cloud cover. Actually had quite a bit of rain the last couple days. That should energize the fish, cool down the water a little bit. These are about as perfect of top water conditions as you could hope for. That's kind of why I picked... What happened, bro? <laughs> on a fish or a cast? A cast. A cast the thing exploded. <laughs> it happens. To be fair, you are getting dialed in on that rod. Yeah. So no worries, no worries. I might change on my knot. I might gotta... Yeah. Did you backlash? Is that what happened? No, I just cast it. Just flew really? Now that braid is very slick, so I, I might need to leave an extra tag in, okay. depending on what kind of knot you're uh, tying. Yeah, Palmar, you won't break off. If you had the improved clinch, that can slip. What did you have before? Uh, uni. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Go with the Palomar, bro. Oh, joy! I missed him. You lucked out, bro. That was bite number one. Oh, he just tapped the explode toad. Missed the legs just, just a hair. Let's get... They're definitely here. Oh, wait, you just stepped up again. <laughs> I don't know, bro. What is going on here? Wait, let's see. Is it, I mean, is there a backlash in there? No. Dude, all right, let me. Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't, that's weird. All right, tie something. <laughs> what did you have tied that's on? I <laughs> right, tie something else on and let me observe. Let me help you out here, bro. That is not right. We are having some bad technical difficulties here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up going on here. All right, bro, I'm going to do one cast for you just to make sure everything's cool now. I think we're I think we're gonna be set. There we go, baby. There, there we go. Alright. Alright, you are set, my friend. Challenge is back on. Good luck. You're gonna lose. Oh, I like that confidence. Dude, that's a lot of confidence from a guy who just broke off two baits and two casts. That didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, I just got bit over here, so I'm going right back into the juice. Oh, 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 he missed it. He missed it. Dude. Oh my gosh, bro. He completely missed it. You know what? I'm going to show you the power of the toad right here. Make the exact same cast right past the fish. We're going to bring it to the hole and drop it right in there. No snakeheads in here, right? Okay. I one, but I the path. If we catch a fish on these lures, we'll count it. If it's like snakehead, bass, pike, whatever, pickerel. Oh, oh, they broke me off. He broke me off, bro. That was a big one. He broke me off. Oh, shit. That was a big one. oh my gosh, dude. That was a oh my freak. Dude, are this, is this stuff with teeth in here? I don't know, man. That was a big freaking fish. Oh my gosh, dude. What happened? I don't know why I broke off, dude. Did I just... That was something big. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to tie on this mini popping frog. I don't know what happened. I suck. I'm, I'm actually zero for four right now. I've had four bites. <sighs> Rough start to this challenge. Keep our head in the game. Dude. 
Hold on a second. Check this out, guys. What's up, buddy? Yo, you need a hand? Yoink! <laughs> Biggest catch of today so far. This guy is pretty heavy. This is about a six, seven pounder. Turtle! All right, here you go, bud. You. What's up, man? Pretty good, thank you. We got a. Uh, I just I just broke off on a big one, so I don't know how big it was, but. Oh. Oh really? Oh, I appreciate that. You said you fished out here. I heard there's big fish in this pond. Is that true? That's monster bass. Mo now, monster, what are we talking? Six pounds? That's called a few sixes out of wow. here. Wow. What's your biggest out of here? Probably six and a half. Nice. Good to meet you, Michael. My name's Tim. Good to meet you, Tim. Yeah, I've been watching your videos for years, man. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I just watched you catch that. So, wait, you recognize me from all the way over there? Absolutely. That's crazy. Your car. Oh, my car. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm with uh, his grandparents live here, so I got access today. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Go ahead. What? Oh, he's gone? Oh my gosh. Is that big, Chris? I'm on. It's big, yeah. Maybe it's not so big. Maybe I just have to on a moss with it. Do I even have the fish? The one time I wasn't watching when it was a damn tank. Oh my gosh. Uh, over there? About right where he's at. Okay. And then all the way up to my Hey, hey, I appreciate that information. I'm actually gonna challenge against him, so I'm gonna run over there oh, try yeah, to beat him. Get it, get it, get it. All right, man. Have a good one. Oh yeah, Brighton. Yeah, you fish over there? Yeah, the fish are either there or they're not. So <laughs> that day they were there. Did he, did he get him or lose him? Oh, he got off. <laughs> okay, hey, good try, buddy. Where are you? I'd beat him to that toe. Oh, I, I like that. Hey, it's Tim, right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. I got the frog. I think we made it to the juice. Shout out to my- Oh no! <laughs> Dude, Chris, yoink the juice over here. So, real quick guys, that's one in the pond. There's essentially grass across the entire thing, about a foot from the bottom. But the thing that's different over there is that it's matted with vegetation on top and there are reeds. So when you have somewhere with tons of grass, you want to look for something a little bit different. And that over there is definitely different. Now let's see. If we can get fish number one. <laughs> I definitely don't have the ideal rod. I thought I'd be fishing. I thought I'd be fishing more open water, but it's all good. I can make this work. Oh! Oh, he missed another bite. <laughs> Zero for two. No. Woohoo! Dude, do we suck or is this I just? Okay, you think we suck? Well, there are fish out here. You know what? I mean, I know you didn't set any hooks in that fish, so yoink. Oh, I missed him. You're lucky I missed that cast. You're bombing out there, bro. Oh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi! Oh, no. Oh, he's good. Oh, no, he's good. He's big, bro. He's big. I don't know. Actually, I don't even know how big. He's stuck in the grass. I got him. I got him. <sighs> oh, yes, sir. Bro, we suck, but we don't miss six bites in a row. Ah, oh, yeah, I got him pinned. <sighs> the reaction light. Definitely not ideal for frogging, but we are making it work, my guys. <sighs> ah. Ah. Oh, he's on there. He can't move. He's in salad. Woohoo! Ah, that's good. We'll take it. Yes, sir! Fish number one. Perfect hook set. Dude, look at the shoulders on this fish. Yeah. Woo! 
Woo! All right, guys, finally, Chris and I have fish number one. Feels like it's been an eternity, but it's only been about an hour in reality. Nice two pounder. Whew, chunky shoulders. These fish look pretty healthy here, dude. Yeah. The sad thing is we've caught fish way bigger. Well, we've missed fish way bigger than this. Go ahead and let it go. Back in your grandparents' pond. Woo! They're feisty, dude. <laughs> They're feisty. All right, so we've come over to the juice. This is where Tim told me to come. So Tim, appreciate that. That's one out of five for me. Let's switch baits. Oh, challenge is still on. In fact, if I get one, I might just, if I get one more, I might just go through that whopper plopper, try to end it. Yeah. I don't think it'll work, but I guess we, I can still. I mean, the fish here are probably big enough. They are definitely, there's definitely some big enough. No question. I've seen, I mean, your fish and my fish that we both lost were big enough to eat a whopper plopper. Yeah. All right, guys. It's time to switch up the bait here. We're going to cut off the mini filthy frog. Man, what sucks is we've missed some big fish today, but hey. Just gotta put that behind us, stay focused, stay in the game. Now, do I wanna go in the grass or in the open water? I just wanna get any size fish. So you know what? I'm kinda of thinking popper. I'm kinda of thinking popper, guys. A little black popper action, cast into the holes. You know, let's try it. We can always switch later, but right now I'm gonna try casting uh, this guy right here. Yeah, what a bass pro. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> oh, your line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, reel it in. Let me see that again. Let me hear that again. There's something, something funky is going on. All right, bro. Having some minor difficulties with your reel. Let's yeah. see. Let's hear that cast. Woo. Yeah, it's. That sounded weird. That not... sounded a little, little crispy. Yeah. Let's try to get one more in there. A little, little crunchy. Now, has it been happening often, or how long has it been happening uh, for? Probably started the last 10 minutes ago. Okay, try go for another cast yeah. here. That looks nice. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. It's okay. I heard it. I mean, you yeah. backlash, but before the backlash, so what's happening? Is it just like real, like something in there, or what? I'm not sure. There now, might be. I mean, this is a brand new reel. Did you put it on the ground to like get sand no, and sand in it? I haven't put it yeah, on the ground could, at all. Because you've been holding it. I've been seeing you fish. Yeah, and my frog's gone, so. Oh, did you break off another bait? Yeah. That's, that's my luck today. <laughs> this might be the most this unlucky, fish, unfortunate. Base, broke off three yeah. times. This is an unfortunate fishing challenge, guys, yeah. but at least we got one so far. Yeah. Who knows? You picked an excellent rod, because I, I, use, I use that rod for many years, but that reel, I've never touched it once. But it was stored in the box. It's not like I had it out getting dust or anything. It was in the box. Indoors, by the way, not outdoors. So it, it was stored perfectly. Oh, dude. Oh, that's going to be awkward for the YouTube. <laughs> that's going to be a little awkward with that audio. <laughs> Let's go. Woo, that's number two, my guys. Ah, how are you feeling, Chris? I thought you said you were going to win. Really bad. <laughs> Oh, the real, you mean? The real, it's the real, it's the real fault. <laughs> I mean, I, I will be, now to be fair, your real is definitely malfunctioning, but hey, that's the way it is. That's number two for me. Whoop. That's actually a big plop. All right, bro, you know what it's time for? <laughs> I'm gonna go for it, my guy. I'm gonna try to put the nail in the coffin. I'm gonna fish with this for like 20, 30 minutes. I mean, who knows? There's definitely, I mean, clearly there's fish big enough to eat this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this thing is ridiculous, dude. It's like a seven inch black cannon helicopter coming at you. I don't know what's gonna eat this, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. All right, we're on here, guys. Bro, have you ever seen this bait in the water? No. Check this out. I've never caught anything on it, but I have gotten one strike on it at Tridelphia. Is that a finesse rod? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is uh, definitely not the right gear, but. Oh, I can cast it, don't you worry. Big cannonball plop. Listen to this. Listen. Yeah, I mean, everything in a 50 foot radius is going to hear this bait. Making the plopping noise. No, we're going to try to end it right here, guys. Uh, I don't like losing challenges, so let's try to take the win right here. Oh, no bites yet. How's that reel treating you, buddy? 
Oh, uh, it's interesting. I'm going to let you, at the end of the challenge, you can switch it out if you want. All right. In fact, just keep that and throw it in the garbage or do whatever you want with it. It's uh, clearly not performing well. Yeah. But anyways, look what we got here. Out of the dirt came about eight little baby turtles. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Hmm. Well, we gave the Whopper Plopper yeah. a shot, but it was just... It was a good try. Yeah, it's too massive, too much vegetation. Those giant trebles were... Getting fouled up every two seconds. Mm -hmm. Not productive. But the good news is we're going to the frog that Chris lost his big fish on. And we have a storm coming in. It's going to lower the pressure. Maybe the top water bite will uh, pop back off. Oh my gosh, bro, you're kidding me. Yeah, he, he, he only had the tail. Yeah, that's probably about bite number eight or nine for us, honestly. We missed about seven bites, landed two fish. Oh my gosh, popping frog. Dang it, dude, just had the tail. All right, let's try again. Well, didn't get any hooks in there, so she might bite again. There he is again. He missed it. He go. Oh. You kidding? Gosh dang it, dude. Bro, he got. He had it that second time. I just. I don't have the rod. The hook setting power. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, there, there's a lot of action in this pond. This pond is not bad. I just suck. I picked the wrong gear. Gear is important, guys. You always want to have the right gear. The fisher, fisher right technique. And even if I had the go-to rod, it'd be fine. I'm just using literally the reaction light glass. That's probably the worst rod I could be using for frogs. Rookie mistake. Right about here. That fish hit me, has hit me three times now. Fish is clearly hungry. That's like, that's over 10 strikes we've missed. Oh, there he is again. He got it, he got it. Yeah. I can't set the hook. I mean, you, dude. To be fair, now this is actually fair because I'm dealing with the rod issue, and but you're dealing with a horrendous real issue. And honestly, I'd rather have the rod issue than the real issue because if you can't cast it, you already getting bit. He is not giving up on my bro. Yeah, so you can't even cast it. <laughs> I mean, those are your words, not mine, bro. I've never used that reel. It's been in the box in my basement for the last couple years. So tell us a little bit about your day here, buddy. Well, it started off pretty good. I casted once, it was a good cast on a new reel. My second and third cast both broke off. Mm -hmm. Then every cast after that was probably bird's nest. <laughs> and then I got over there, uh, I lost another bait. And then every cast over there was bird's nest too. I started making some weird noises. Yep, we got, the, so we got that documented. Ne never heard that before. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I, I got a new reel. And so essentially, I feel bad for Chris, honestly, guys. I, I had never used that reel. I let him pick those. In fact, three of those four reels I let him choose I've never used before. I wanted to hook my boy up because he lost his chronoc. I feel bad for him. He picked, I think he might have picked the lemon. I mean, I don't want to yeah. be a judge. I did not throw it personally, but you were not too pleased with that reel, Chris? Yeah, it was a piece of trash. Okay, all right. Well, that was his words, not mine, Respect, guys. Respect. <laughs> so now it looks like you're casting well. What do you, what did you pick? I let you pick another reel for my collection. What do you got here? The it's Cast King? The Cast King. All right, and you're, and you're pretty happy with this one so yeah, far? Yeah, pretty nice. All right, any backlashes or is casting pretty well? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, Nothing. so you're good now? Good now. He's at a bit of a disadvantage, so he is essentially now starting the challenge because he actually has a working reel, guys. But I've got a little lead here. We'll see what Chris can do, but I'm going to try to put this thing to bed. I would catch more dinks when I was a kid, but then I'd catch, I mean, my biggest out of Fawn Hill back when I was a kid is like four, four plus pounds. Yeah, there's, I, there's, like, there's a couple big ones. Kind of Dude, I, I, last year I was fishing in the summer with a, a church group. And I was throwing an ultralight with a wacky rig and I casted the aerator. Yeah. And literally, I, I don't know what I had on. It was a fish. It was a fish. I fought it 
I fought it for literally two minutes, and then when I got it close to the dock, it ran under the dock and snapped me off. Wow. So I, I couldn't tell exactly how big it was because I had an ultralight, but it's, it's definitely over four. Yeah. I have no idea how much bigger than that it was. There's, a, you, there's, like, there's always fish under the dock. Bro, I got your line right here. Oh, for real? Yeah. No shot. I got it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, I got it right here. Oh, no wonder why you're so low on lag. You get snapping off. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering when I looked at you, you kind of low on line here, buddy. Hopefully this frog is not cursed. That one's good. I want, I've caught stuff on, it's a blue color. I've yeah, I'm tying this on. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Got you that time, baby. Oh, stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Yes, sir. Ah, woo, that felt good, guys. It has been a long time since I felt a fish. And this one, I have no clue how big or small it is. I think it's big. Yeah, I think it's big. Yeah, wow. I think it's big, bro. It's not moving, but I think it's big. It's, oh, it's decent. No, no, it's decent. Oh, number three. Bro, we suck, but we don't suck that bad at least. Dude, you recognize this bait? Looks like it's mine. <laughs> the one you snapped off for that first cast of the day? So I managed to snag Chris's line, retrieved the bait, tied it on. Got fish number three. This one's a little skinny. This one's not feeding that well, but I mean... I think this fish missed my bait like 10 times, so I'm not surprised that it is not the most efficient hunter. There she goes. Man, it feels good to hook a fish again. I am never frogging on a glass rod again in my life. My goodness. Uh, anyway, let's put this here. Let's go with the micro frog. I mean, I'm fishing a freaking glass rod, so let's go with a tiny, teeny, tiny bait. It's pink. Let's make my boy Leo proud. And Chris was dogging on this bait earlier, so I kind of want to show him the power of the pink. Low key, I'm pretty excited to fish this bait. I have not fished the Guggen Micro in this particular color before. And the good news about pink, it's highly visible. This bait is extremely light, but I am using the Reaction Light Rod, so I think I'll be able to cast it. Now let's take a look at it in the water right, real quick. All right, hard to cast because it's extremely light. Yeah, look at that. Nice little compact size, very visible. Dude, I'm sure we can get, I think we can get smacked on this. Now let's see if we can't, see if we can't make a cast with it. <sighs> yeah, we're in there. Not easy to cast. This bait should probably be thrown on either BFS gear or spinning gear, but we'll make it work right now. The water's pretty low too. Yeah. Cause that would be a, you always want. <laughs> 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 The pink, on the pink. Woo! Number four, baby, ski him in. Ski him in. I think it's a small fish, bro. Is it on? It's freaking gone, you kidding me? Dude, this sucks, bro. Is that 10 between us now? No, oh, over 10 bites, over 10 bites missed. Holy bejizo, guys. I think there's something going on with the fish. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. He was on there for a second. Yeah, he, your rod was. Get him back in here, boys. <sighs> Going with the pink. Going deep in with the pink. Let's get back in here. I know, I mean, without a doubt, like this mat in this corner, it's gonna hold at least 10 fish. At least 10 fish are right in front of me. Now, a lot of them are probably inactive and just chilling, but I should be able to get at least one more strike from one of these fish. Hey, take care guys. Catch you later. Oh. Oh. 11 o'clock. 
three fish caught total it's a draw the wind condition was five fish or two fish and the whopper plopper this one r one r challenge series incomplete i now stand at two wins one loss two draws if you guys want to challenge me you know what to do comment down below i will pick one of your comments drive over to you and we will have a 1v1 challenge chris i had some rod problems you had some real problems we will definitely come back out to this pond because it is yep. extremely juicy but hey man that's fishing sometimes not everything goes your way thanks for the invite bro i'll catch you next time guys we're back last time i fished at this pond I had the wrong gear. My boy over here, Chris, had the wrong reel, we could say. Yep. Sorry about that reel. What did you do with it, by the way, bro? Uh, it's in the trash. Gotcha. Yep, it's in the trash. There you guys go. Now, we are back for redemption, and we are also going to be finishing our little challenge because we had a draw. Is that right? Yep. So now we're going to see which of us is going to win this one hour, one hour challenge series because we're not ending on a draw. That's nope. ridiculous. No way. We're gonna change things up just a little bit though. So we're at the same pond. We've got different rods and reels. Mm -hmm. let's, just, let's just go over those real quick. Show me your setup right here. Yeah, so I have Daiwa Tatula on a 7.6 medium heavy rod. That's right, and I did lend you this rod. Yes. So bro, I gave you a rod and reel last time. You're borrowing this rod, but I'll tell you what, yeah. if you beat me today, you can keep that rod. Nice. All right, then for me, you guys have been waiting for this. I've got the Guggen Muscle Rod, of course, got the correct gear this time so I can actually set the hook on these frog type baits. And I'm bringing back the Antares DC. I'm going to start using this for the 1R, 1R challenges. Still only got 20 pound braid on it. It's going a little bit thin, but look at that shine. Beautiful combo right here that we're going to be running. And now the time limit, bro, it's like, what, 6.30? Something like that. We're going to run this till 9 o'clock, all right? Sure. It'll, it'll probably be dark about then. And scoring, so... We're straight up, two things that are scoring. Number one, just straight up big fish wins. Big bass wins. Big bass, all right? got it. Make it, keep it simple. And number two, here are the baits that we're allowed to throw right here, all right? As you can see, we have an assortment of topwater frog style, you know, the soft plastic. Mm -hmm. You got, uh, got the duck. This is, actually, I don't know if you recognize this. John B actually gave yeah. this to me. You recognize I've it? Seen that, yep. Yeah, so in the worst lure challenge, John B gave this to me, actually. Yep. Very interesting looking bait right there. Got a couple uh, bluegill types. And I actually got some bladed, I got some bladed frogs right here, courtesy of Rar Fishing. Then I got some uh, variety of different frogs. This is the tataki frog from uh, 10,000 fish. Got some lunker hunts with the uh, the old legs, very natural looking. Mm -hmm. So we are free to use, and you actually provided a couple baits as well, right over here. Got a nice looking rat bait right here. Dude, this rat. thing is crazy looking. Yeah. So we are free to use anything in this box for the challenge, right? Nice. But here's the deal. After you catch a fish on a bait, you cannot use that bait again. That's the only rule. But there's like 30 baits here. We're probably not catching 30 fish, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But still, once you catch one fish on it, you, get, you, can, you cannot use that bait again. You understand? Got it. All right, those are the rules. Let's go to it. May the best angler today win. Whew, should be a fun one. I'll be honest, guys. I have not thrown this reel in at least two months. I wanted to give the Guggen green and gold series reels a really good test and they passed with flying colors but that does not mean that this reel right here will not be used on my channel now we need to select bait number one for today now remember after i catch a fish on that bait cannot use it again today so you know what we're going to save the larger baits for later in the day and let's start with something nice and natural looking relatively small let's go with the uh Let's go with the mini poppin' frog right here. Should be perfect. Full tension is perfect. Drag is set. First cast in two months with this reel. Let's let it rip. Woo! Singing like a freaking birdie. Let's go, guys. I am very excited to fish this pond now that we're equipped with the proper gear. Ain't no fish getting away once they bite. What pound braid is that, by the way? 20. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that hook setting power. That was nuts, man. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I have a medium heavy. Oh yeah, I am open one. Now that was a small fish show, to be fair. But hey, if that fish had the bait in his mouth, it was getting sent to Valhalla. <laughs> Holy moly.
Oh, sh it's a frog. Yeah, I spooked him. Well, Mike, looks like I'm speaking the language of the break off the frog. Yeah, I quoted that from your dad. He spoke another language. Dude, that was so funny. Not a great start already. This pond has cursed me, dude. Yeah, it does need to do that, yeah. We're uh, 10 minutes into fishing. I missed a bite. What happened to you, buddy? I broke off again. How'd you break off? I oh. casted it. Oh, you fixed it, though. You I got it straightened out, but okay. I casted it, and it just flew off. Hey, so. that happens, buddy. It looks like we're keeping the same pattern as last time. Hey, we got to turn it around. Not as bad. Yeah. You on my line there. Oh, shit. Bad, dude. Yeah, this is, this is a clusterfuck. on i'm on no are you serious are you dude that was big dude that was big was it really well bro don't just cast that in again i'm, I'm gonna steal that out. thanks for telling me bro i'm stealing that fish how, how big are we talking ah, no rules in this challenge that, that's a little tragic, my guy, because yeah, you have a seven foot six inch rod there, know, so it's dude. like you have the hook setting power now. <laughs> Did it miss it or what? Did no, missed... I, I had him. Oh, you had him? I had him on. Damn, sucks, dude. Bro, For you. I'm, so <laughs> I'm actually dog. <laughs> There's only seven o'clock. We got a lot of time to FTs fish up, don't you worry. How big you think it was? That was big. Dang. I lost a big one here too last time. could have gotten huge. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're always discovering new species in the ocean. Yeah. And they're gonna find like, dude, the aliens are definitely in the ocean if you think about it. You, know? <laughs> you might be right. They've gotta be there. That would be a good place to hide. You can't, you can't explore the whole ocean. It's too yeah. big. It's too massive. Yeah. I'll tell you what's chilling right in front of us, bro. Five pounders right here. This is definitely the juice. One of us is getting is about to get smoked. The pros in front of us, they call that cheese grass. The grass in front of us. Yeah. That, that's that's actually one of their favorite types of grass to frog fish. Because under it, it looks thick on top, but under it's pretty sparse. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, bro, that's dude, he's right there, snakehead. There's a snakehead. Bro, the snakehead. There's a snakehead. Holy sh dude, he came oh. Oh, bro. That was a bass, it's a bass. Oh my gosh, bro, this fish is crazy. Oh no. I don't know who's coming back out there. I effed that one up, bro. Dude, oh. That, like, <laughs> we're, we're like 0 for 6 now. Yeah, we suck, dude. We, we need to just, if we can't catch a fish today, we're both quitting fishing, that's all I can say. Holy moly, I can't believe he came back. He followed it all the way in. He gave you two shots. I would cast that, I don't know what you're doing. You should be casting over there. I'm probably I'm probably sitting in duck crap right now. Let's see. Oh yeah, I am sitting in duck crap. Bro, low key, this pond is cursed. Yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know what's going on. Like every time I fish here, it's it's just it's like I'm even <laughs> snapping stuff off. Birds nesting my reels. Yeah. Using fish. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough it's coming out hard, here. It's a hard pond to fish, but there's big fish in it. Absolutely. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you know Tyler's real fishing? Oh yeah, uh huh? I he was doing. Times. Huh? I fished with them like four times. Really? Yeah. He's a cool dude. Yeah. I don't know why he doesn't get more views. Exactly. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was like, what the? F what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> dude, we suck. No, okay, good. There we go. Oh, oh, I saw that shit. Dude, I didn't do the one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you felt no weight, correct? Nah, I'm too excited. Yeah, you did a whole 360 and I hooked him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
Your next video is gonna be guys. I'm retired. I went 0 for 30 on, 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 in two days. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It. Oh, I'm getting. I'm getting to come back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Come back, baby. Come to daddy. You're right here. You're right here. Dude, I'm zero for three. We're both. Are we both zero for three? Yeah. Or are you zero for two? I'm zero for three. Oh my gosh, dude. We suck so bad. We actually here suck. 20, 21. Oh yeah, literally. Here. Pretty much. Oh my gosh, we're so bad, dude. 40. Dude, I was ready to get revenge on these fish, but they're kicking my ass again. Are you serious? That's a, that was that was eight dog. That was an eight pounder. Yeah, eight ounces, baby. That was maybe eight ounces, my guy. <laughs> this is the spot though. This is the time that we make it happen right here, right here, right now. Prime time. This would be the equivalent if you were gaming. For sure, your keyboard would be smashed on the ground right now. I throw my mouse at my TV and then rip it off the wall. <laughs> I don't think so. It's not, we're gonna catch one big one. I think so. We're gonna be rewarded for all this shit. That's, that's, that's the hope. I mean, we deserve that for sure. Yeah. We've, we put in a lot of effort, a lot of casting. Thousands. Yeah. Millions. Pretty much. Pretty much. That would be very tragic if we did not catch a fish at this point. It would be bad, dude. That would be bad. Right, we gotta retire, bro. Yeah. It's getting dark, too. We don't have much daylight left. We got like maybe. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of good daylight. Oh, is, there, oh that's a, is that a bobber right there? Well, I'll be honest, bro. If the viewers are seeing this, we're not ending, ending the video until one of us catch a big fish. Yeah, 100%. And it's funny, I was supposed to be catfishing today. When fish, dude, there's a flash flood. Did you see that flash flood in Maryland? Yeah. Last, yesterday? Yeah. That's crazy, wasn't it? Dude, let me show you guys what happened in the creek. And I've recruited the help of my wife right here. We got Michaela. Have you ever caught a fall fish before? No. You sure? I don't think so. Okay, well, we just came back from dinner, hopped right into the creek, and uh, let's go ahead and see how long it takes for her to catch them. So we had a lot of rain. We had a, in fact, we had a massive rainstorm just earlier today, so that should help the catfish bite tomorrow, but it's uh, completely washed out this creek. So we're gonna have to find some deep holes, throw our Guggen inline spinner in there, and, uh, See if we can catch a couple. That's a good cast right there. Nice slack pool right here. They gotta be somewhere. Do you see how that tree is creating that slow pool over there? Yeah. Yeah, let's walk down there carefully. Yeah, walk in the shallow area right here. This was all dirt actually just earlier today. I know. We had a ton of rain. That was a massive flash flood that we had. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no trees knocked down, although there could definitely be some trees knocked down. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't think I think all the fish are gonna be right here. So what we're gonna do, I mean, you can actually cast, I think you can cast, you can try, I mean, we'll stand, you can, let me see what, it, let me see how crazy it is, hold on. Oh, it's pretty strong, okay. Woo, woo, okay, it gets deep. All right, so, I think what you're, want, you're gonna wanna do is, I mean, just stand, don't go down there because it's a steep drop off, but yeah, go ahead and stand right where I am on the sandbar. I remember what it looks like. Yeah, stand right there. And just try to, so you see those, uh, see how the water's not moving? Cast in those areas there, just right there, and see if uh, see if you can catch one. Do you cast from your left side or your right side? I don't wanna get hooked. I cast something okay. this way or I cast this way. All right, well, which way, which way, should I stand on your left or your right to be safe? Oh, that works. Yeah, short cast, perfect. Gotta reel that in nice and slow, make sure the blades are turning. See if we can't find one. I think these, uh, oh, that's a fish or a snag? Oh, something, something's down there. Don't worry, no lure left behind. The, uh, these conditions are not ideal, honestly, for catching, uh, catching chubs, but you know, we'll make it work. No lure left behind. Got him deep. I'll make one cast. Come on, 
Good. I think we're gonna have to walk upstream and we're gonna have to look We're gonna have to look for uh cleaner water. This ain't gonna work. I mean one you can keep walking up, but I, I don't know how much farther up you wanna walk. Alright, keep keep exploring then hopefully we find the uh the, the, the fish are definitely somewhere in here. I make a couple casts next to that log, short cast. Where the fuck is the bucket? Was it right there? It was. Did it get did the creek get higher? Uh, you keep fishing. You keep fishing. I'm gonna check check real quick. I thought it was right there, dude. I just put the bucket there. There's no way. Dude, something's going on in this creek, guys. Something is definitely going on in this creek. Just, that is weird. Literally five minutes ago, I'll show you where I put the bucket. Is someone pranking me or what? I literally had the bucket right here. Right there, right there. There's the outline of it. Dude, there's some weird freaking stuff happening down here, man. That's all I can say. Oh my gosh, I think I lost my bait bucket. I think it's a goner. Yeah, I mean, I don't even see it. Like I would probably see it being washed down, I assume, but do not even see it at this point. That freaking sucks, dude. So I lost my bucket, and then this morning, I actually went to a super pressured pond, just fish for fun, put the GoPro on my chest just because. I did have one catch. Let me show you a little bit of that. There's number one, boys! Oh! That's why you go shallow. That's why you go shallow. Right there. <sighs> Beautiful. Freaking bass. Oh, the hook popped right out. Look at the, look at the girth. For warm water. This dude's feeding up. Yes! Here's my feet. Right here. This is where this fish, oh! Okay, there she goes. Now look at this duck crap water. Look at it. Look, my, my hand literally disappears when you put it down. Look at that. That's four inches down. My hand's gone. And the reason why this water is this freaking disgusting. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna show you right now. And we're back. So this is it guys. About to get dark. You're, we're grinding. If you're watching this, I'm just gonna tell you right now. It's gonna happen. All of our hard work, is about to pay off. Oh my gosh, I've never wanted a uh, three plus pounder so badly in my life. Just one. I'm not trying to be greedy here, Pond. Just one. And I don't care, it can, I don't care who catch up. Oh, oh, Fro, get back in there. He missed it. He has a three plus. That was him. That was him. That was him. That was him. Oh my gosh. I said took too early. I get too excited. Oh, we're on we're on each other's line. I snagged you, bro. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, that was the three. I can't, I can't help it. You do the same thing, bro. I literally can't help it. You just get so freaking excited. Oh my gosh, you were dude. Asking, you were asking the pond for it and it gave it. I know, he, it did give it to me. The pro, the, oh, you're right. Yeah. The pond it has a bountiful harvest right now, right before it gets dark. Dude, you gotta put like a strike counter in your video. Yeah, actually, I might do, uh, dude, I'm actually gonna do that for sure. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Ow. Being bit by something. Oh shit! Are you sure it wasn't stinging nettle? Yeah, it was on my knee. Are you, does it still sting? Nah, it could have been a horsefly. Okay. Dude, it's right there. Jesus. Oh, what is it? It's, by, it's up behind you. It's a wasp, it's a bro. Wasp. It's a wasp. I swear, it was following you. I don't know why it's following you. Dude, it hates me. Did it bite you? It was stinging me. Oh, it's it stinging you. Shit. <laughs> Well, you're pretty tough. You get stuck by a wasp and you're kind of just chilling. Dude, this pond is actually cursed, my guy. This place. How's your knee? Is it swollen yeah, or? The yeah, we need to catch it. We, we deserve to catch the biggest damn fish in this whole freaking pond now. Fishy. We can't leave. We're not ending another, bro. We're not ending in another draw. I'm not leaving until one of us catches a fish. 
I got nothing to do tomorrow morning. I can stay out here all night. Do we got a full moon tonight? Where's the moon? Yeah, the other bank is where the moon is. Yeah. Right. We're gonna have to go over there. Everything's dumbass right now. Yeah. I'm a dumbass right now. Dude, we're both dumbasses. We're like 0 for 9, 0 for 10. Ah. Oh, that is bad. Even it's... if we get one fish, that's a 10% hookup ratio. Yeah. 10% is better than zero. Oh, wait, someone just bit me. Dude, it missed me completely. I didn't even set the hook or nothing. I felt no weight. Cast at it. Dude, I swear, if Bigfoot comes out and just mauls us, I'm just done. Best video footage ever. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, it won't be any video footage because it's too dark. Oh, that's true. You'll just hear us scream like little girls. That's about it. <laughs> Bro. Can you sing a song to these fish like Tyler? Fish, I want to catch you. I want to go home. Fish, I love fish. I want to catch a bass right now. Please, fish. Please. I hate this pond so much, but we have to catch a fish. We cannot end in the draw, my guy. We have to catch a fish. Dude, that was a good addition to the song. That was a, good, that was a solid song. I like, dude, we're good at songs. I like that. That was nice. All right, when that strike comes, we got a, we got a two Mississippi this year. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, strike. Ugh. Bro, I think it's getting close to tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Gotta be getting close to midnight at this point. Ah, uh, darkness cast. I hear something in those woods, my guy. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Right, that was a bass, dude, right on that wall, right on that wall. Uh, the one right across from us, probably 20 feet from the right. That was a big, that was big, dude. Let's see if I can get out there. This is prime Bigfoot territory too. You're definitely right about that. We gotta watch out. Dude, he's gonna have your bucket too. <laughs> you Bigfoot! He heard that for sure. Him, bro. Yeah, dude. Come and get me, muff. Bro, I'm hooking. If I see Bigfoot, I'm hooking him and calling it a win. <laughs> I'm not even sure what Brian and Brandon is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's a cool name though. That's yeah. a pretty cool name. I don't even know. We've got one, bro. We've been out here <sighs> hours, hours. <sighs> That's it. That's it. One hour, one hour challenge series complete. Three wins, one loss, one tie. This was the toughest challenge series I've ever done. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my little friend. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Oh my gosh, what do you have to say about today, my guy? Lots of ups and downs, mostly downs, but yeah. it's a good time. Yeah. Bro, behind you, run!